As the U.S. steps back from a global leadership role, the chances of a final clash between two regional powers in the Middle East edges closer. The two key players, Shia Iran and Sunni Saudi Arabia, have been fighting a series of proxy wars between each other for religious leadership of the Muslim world. This rivalry has seen Saudi-backed rebel forces fight Iran's ally Syria, while in Yemen, Iran-backed Houthi rebels have seen Saudi Arabia intervene directly to assist its neighbor's government. Riyadh, thanks to its special relationship with Washington, has been able to deploy one of the best-equipped armed forces in the Gulf region, with typhoons and F-15s in the Royal Saudi Air Force, as well as E-3 AWACS and Saab Arii AEW platforms. In addition, the RSAF is in the process of acquiring the most advanced version of the Strike Eagle, the F-15SA. This air power combined with four multi-mission frigates and the U.S. Thad anti-ballistic missile system makes Saudi Arabia an adversary to not underestimate. On the other hand, Iran has suffered from decades of economic sanctions imposed by the U.S. and its military hardware reflects this situation. Tehran has become an expert in reverse engineering U.S. weapon systems delivered before the revolution and some of these have demonstrated high levels of innovation, like keeping F-14 Tomcats flying and even adding new capabilities in modified IHOC SAMs as AAMs. The potential for escalation igniting a wider and direct conflict between these two religiously conservative and muscular regional powers is becoming significant. Whether one side can swiftly overmatch the other, or whether this indeed drags on for another 30 years, is another question.